Well, hello everyone, my name is Prime, and welcome back to another episode of ATS Showcases, and today I'm going to be checking out this International 9800 that I found on the Steam Workshop, so of course, this truck mod and the frosty mod that you can see the world is nice and frosty here in ATS will be linked down in the description below. And if you can tell already, we're going to be hauling this tiny home from here in Boise, Idaho, all the way up to Grangeville. It is a special transport delivery, so we got to be careful with the pace car or escort vehicle. What do you want to say? I think they're just out front there. Oh yeah, there they are. But let's get this thing started up because this mod is really, really nice. I do like some of the touches and we'll go over some of the options in just a second, but let's get this truck started up. Beautiful stuff. It is powered today by a 500 horsepower cat engine and luckily this truck mod actually comes with its own sounds. So it has multiple different truck engine sounds, I guess you could say, and multiple different manufacturers. So you can choose which one you like, but I decided to go with the cat 500 horsepower variant today because of the heavy haul. But let's check out some of the options quick. Alright, so starting off with the cabin types, it's actually got three different options. You can have the flat top, you can have a flat top with a spoiler, and you can have the high roof. So in today's video, I'm using the high roof variant. And of course, when it comes to chassis, there's only one 6x4 option. And this is the engine section, which I just mentioned. There are multiple different manufacturers, multiple different options, and this all came with the mod. So there's no sound mods that I am using currently in this save. So that is all the different options there. Of course, for today's video, I went with the 5 500 horsepower variant of the cat engine just because I wanted to. And then when you come to transmissions, you've got your few different uh, options here, mainly kind of stock, I guess you could say, in ATS. And today I stuck with the 18 speed with the retarder just because we need it for the heavy haul. Interior options, well, you've only got your one standard classic look. I'm not going to complain though, it looks really good. And paint jobs, we actually have a few different options. One that is a kind of, I guess you could say, the star, they call it the starling. Uh, there's a few that come with the mod and then other ones are more just stock and you can do your custom ones there. Dark days and then the test paint job, which is actually the one I'm running today. Day. Now, accessories on the exterior, I guess you could say, are a, lim a little bit limited when it comes to full customization. Obviously, you can add the fog lights in. Well, I did that in the truck. Basically, what you see is basically all added in. I've done, you, luckily, you can do your uh, Goodyear wheels, or if you have the tuning accessory pack and stuff like that, you can add that in there. I did not do the side skirts, however. I just like to look at that chrome fuel tank personally. But kind of looking around the truck, there's really not a ton, unless if you get into some of the little dash cams or there's a few uh, other interior things. So just in the, it will pop in the inside here. You can see we have the CV radio, which you could actually choose from the outside as well. There's a couple different options there. And there's mainly just dashboard things. So obviously we need the GPS because this truck does not have it. You can choose the location if you want top left or top right. I kept it mid just so it's easier for me to look without having to constantly look up and down just because of the FOV I use in game. And other than that, it's pretty much just little customizations with the dashboard stuff. I noticed that when I tried to do it, it didn't necessarily pop up. That one did though, which is good. So be careful when you're choosing some of the accessory slots. They may not all show up. Overall, though, I think this truck is really, really nice. Nice and tasteful. I love the look of this International 9800. Such a classic look. And uh, why don't we get rolling here, because we've got a pretty good delivery to go. I think I just shut off the truck. I did. Well, let's start that back up. Hit the horn while I'm at it. Uh, make sure that's in gear. I guess the parking brake was already off. I am just a complete wreck here. But let's get rolling and try and move on here. Nice and loud. Uh, obviously, I have the windows actually rolled down just a tad in the truck. Uh, reason for that is actually because I found that the sound in the interior with the windows rolled all the way up could be just a little bit muffled I guess you could say they just didn't feel I don't know uh, it didn't feel as realistic because this is of course updated for 1.43 in the interior cabin update it all works fine it's not a big deal but to me it just feels a little bit muffled um, I guess I could show you guys that right now so let's roll up the window there and uh, make sure this window over here is rolled up. Is that up or down, Prime? I can't remember. This is what it sounds like when the windows are completely closed. And I don't know, it just feels a little bit more muffled than what I would like. So all I do is I just crack the windows down just a tad. And I think it's this one for that side over there. Yeah, it is. Uh, ride the curb a little bit because I'm not paying attention. And it just gives a little bit more of a balanced sound, I do feel like. 
And uh, overall, I think it's just a really, uh, it's a really nice mod. I'm not going to complain whatsoever. And we got to be careful here. Oh, yeah, I forgot. No red lights today, my friends. We are, are being escorted. I, it's been a while since I've done a heavy transport. And you know what? That is perfectly fine with me, though. I got to be careful because I do have stuff on the right-hand side overhanging. And I really don't feel like scraping up this building. So hopefully everyone had a very happy New Year's. I, uh, unfortunately, I was trying to get an episode out on New Year's Day. Uh, that didn't end up happening, but that's okay. Uh, we're here now. Hopefully everyone enjoyed their holidays, no matter uh, how you spent it, either with family or not, or depending on what holiday you celebrated, hopefully you just had a wonderful time of year. I certainly did. It was nice to uh, kind of relax, I guess you could say, uh, for a little bit, although uh, I, I was kind of busy still, but nonetheless, it was nice to, uh, it was nice to be, well, just have the holiday season. It's always such a special time of year. And so when it came to this mod, while well, I was browsing the, the Steam Workshop and I was trying to figure out what in the world am I going to do um, for another episode? Because it's been a while since I've done a mod, I guess you could say review slash uh, showcase. Uh, we've been doing a lot of just the truck and new content coming into ATS, which again, I am not going to complain because one, that is kind of the main point of this series. Um, but I've really wanted to do a, another mod thing. Went on to the Steam inventory, or Steam Workshop, I guess I should say, and the International 9800. I do believe it's an I, technically, 9800i, uh, but it, it was basically front and center on the page, and it was one of the most popular uh, downloads. And so I decided, you know what, I'm going to jump on this bandwagon. I have a feeling uh, this is going to be showcased on a few of the bigger uh, channels as well. I did not just clarifying i did not do this for views or anything like that i actually genuinely wanted to try this thing you know, i like these classic trucks and it had a ton of positive reviews uh, lots of the i guess you could say um inventory rewards or workshop awards whatever highly rated uh mod so i definitely recommend it uh it just looks really really good nice and clean and classic the way we all like it uh but yeah it is nice to be doing another mod review uh, something with a modded engine sound i know st stock ats sounds are pretty good uh but at least in my opinion uh but i do know they certainly lack compared to i guess you could say uh, Z mod or any of those guys uh, who do a phenomenal engine sound and other truck sound packs. Uh, so overall, it is really, really nice to be uh, kind of experiencing another sound. I did actually test out a couple of the different engine, I guess you could say mod sounds, whatever, and they did honestly sound very, very nice. Um, like once again, they all had a very unique and kind of classic sound to their manufacturer, which is always really nice to see. Uh, but again, like I kind of said in the little product overview of this mod, I just decided to stick with the cat engine. And I think, you know what, it has worked out pretty well. I do like the sound of it indeed. Uh, but it's nice to actually be back here in Idaho. I can't actually remember how many episodes it's been since I've been in Idaho. I have a feeling it's been uh, earlier than I would have remembered. Uh, but it's nice to be back here with the Frosty Mod, of course. Uh, it's this time of year. I like the Frosty Mod. It really does add that little bit of extra something something. I did. It was actually snowing pretty hard uh, when I first actually loaded in the game with this truck. But I decided to clear the weather just because it was so it was snowing so hard. You could barely see the truck and the lighting was awful and you know the recording youtube life so we're here we're here with nice clear a day here in idaho and hey i'll take it i'd rather have um a nice clear frosty day than um trying to showcase off to showcase this mod compared to a awfully snowy day can barely see the truck and well, the lighting is just awful. We will do probably the next episode, to be honest with you. Will be a more, I guess, I'll try and give it some snow. Because I really want to actually take <laughs> use the snow function um, of the Frosty Mod. Actually, when I've been completing uh, just some of the extra uh, Christmas event deliveries, I've been, whoa, leaving it. Uh, there we go. Prime hit the barrier. Big shock. Uh, forgot I what I was driving. Yeah, there we go. Uh, knew that was going to happen at some point. I'm surprised it took this long, to be honest. Uh, but no, no worries. Um, it'll buff out. They'll just have to replace that trim or something. Eh, who cares? 
<laughs> Sorry for those who are trying to be or want me to be hyper realistic. I, I try, okay? I try. Um, I, I've got a, I've got a lot on my plate here with the commentary and stuff. I, 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 I'm sorry. Just, I'm sorry. Uh, but let's talk about, speaking about, I guess you could say, Best of Prime. Because uh, you better believe Best of Janu Prime January 2022. Uh, yeah, that is going to be coming in that. I'm sure you'll see some of that in that section. Um, when it comes to the Best of Prime series, I am almost done. And if not, hopefully within a day or two of this video going live, you will see the Best of Prime 2021 video now. I have decided not to do a dedicated Best of Prime December video because there weren't a ton of moments, unfortunately, uh, that ended up in that folder. I don't know if I just didn't render them out, but thinking of some of the episodes that happened, there weren't as many, I guess you could say, really funny or highlighty portions uh, of the, the months just in general. I wasn't able to do as much content as I would have liked to, unfortunately, especially in the latter part of the months. Uh, so when it came to uh, the uh, when it came to the best of Prime December, it would have been such a what a trailer damage. Did I oh, I probably hit the concrete barrier. Ah oh, man, again. She was oh that's a little bit of a tight fit up there. Gee, I was wondering how that was gonna fit. Anywho, best of Prime December 2021 is just not gonna exist. But best of Prime 2021 will include the few segments from December 2021. And I think it's going to be a really fun video. I'm looking forward to your reaction to it. I think it's going to be really fun. It will be premiering on the channel because it is more of a specialty episode, I guess you can say. I am getting a little bit of frames here. Hold on. Hopefully that doesn't come through too bad on the recording. Sometimes these mod uh, trucks do have a bit of a performance impact. Um, some will notice it more than others. Obviously, I run my game pretty much at the limit of this uh, of my specs what it can run uh, or mainly the graphics card actually it is the graphics card uh, I run the graphics card basically at its limit when it comes to maintaining 60 frames per second while recording and obviously in the more detail sections of the map uh, along with a mod truck sometimes it can it will impact performance so if you notice some stutters I do apologize it is probably just trying to load something in uh, that is well maybe a little bit much for my little wee GTX 1650. Uh, but nonetheless, Best of Prime 21 is, I think, going to be a really fun video. It will be premiering at some point. Unfortunately, I have no idea uh, when that will be completely done yet. It, I am working on it very hard, and it's coming along quite nicely. Uh, but I just want to let you guys know that there won't be a dedicated Best of Prime December. Uh, obviously, when they're in the order of the playlist, it will kind of make sense anyways, I think. Um, but you know what? It's fine. We'll make do. It's, it's, it's what it is, and I'm not going to complain about that. Now, when it comes to some ATS news, well, we've got... It, it's been more on the ETS2 side, I'm not going to lie. Uh, recently, we've had more on the Heart of Russia DLC because it appears to be in its latter stages of development, possibly. Haven't heard, uh, to, be, to be honest, anything on Montana uh, within the last little while. Obviously, we had the spotlight look into the future of the California reskin project and the timeline ish I guess you could say uh, really the timeline is non-existent but uh, or at least not public uh, but when it comes to the next stage two what will be coming in was the removal I believe it was San Rafael uh, and a new city coming in at some point I do uh, I do believe someone uh, said uh, a good option for what city may be coming in. I can't honestly remember what it was, uh, so I do apologize um, right now, but uh, maybe it was like San Jose or something like that, because I don't think San Jose is actually in the game. No, it isn't. Uh, I, could, I guess I could actually check that. San Jose, I don't believe, is in the game. Uh, no, so they'd be getting rid of San Rafael in Stage 2. Uh, yeah, San Jose is not there. San Diego's down there. So they, there was a couple comments, and I believe one in particular that said uh, possibly a San Jose uh, coming to the map, which I think would be very, very interesting indeed, and I wouldn't mind that at all. Uh, but California Reskin Project is in uh, is in development. It's, it's a matter of how long it's actually going to take. We have no idea. It depends on the team size, depends on what SDS Software is doing with other map expansions. And overall, we just have to wait and see because, well, what are we going to do? We can't really force them because we want the reskin to be as uh, 
popular as high detail as they normally do with these uh, with these maps and reskins and stuff like that so obviously su software wouldn't i don't think i don't think they'd uh they'd I would not think they would give in to peer pressure, I guess you could say, uh, from the community to try and get it done faster because they want to maintain a certain standard. That is very close to that van right there, or that SUV. I gotta maybe hug the center a little bit while we're going through town. Don't want to take out the Prius. That is actually very, very close, is it? This is a really wide load. No wonder why I've scra uh, scraped it up against stuff. Uh, but nonetheless, what else can we talk about? Oh, yes. Uh, what is coming in 2022 now? Well, um, good question. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff hopefully going to be coming. Uh, hopefully more content. Obviously, the monetization stuff is now kind of behind me. Um, maybe by the time you guys are watching this, I the channel is officially monetized. As of recording it, uh, it is in the latter stages of being approved. Uh, it is just currently waiting for the approval thing. Uh, but it seems to be in the latter stages of it. Who just knows how long YouTube decides to take the review stuff officially, though. Uh, but it is all set to and ready to go as soon as they decide to uh, approve stuff. So that is going to be nice. I am hopefully going to be bringing in channel memberships as well. Because uh, as far as I know, that unlocks for gaming channels uh, at the 1,000 subscriber mark as well as presuming you're monetized. So that will be great because I know there are some of you who have messaged me. What is that guy doing? A little bit of a shimmy? It's, it, you, you saw that, right? It's not just me. I had a little voice crack there, man. I've had that in the ages. Um, did you see that police car kind of do like this little wobble thing? It was literally just him going like back and forth, back and forth, uh, right before he slowed down. I don't know what that could have been. That was very interesting. Oh, I've got to check out the Jake break on this thing. Uh, where are we going to be? Hopefully we'll be picking up more speed uh, in this section. Yes, we will. Uh, so we're going to uh, do some Jake break action. Actually, probably right about now. Oh, that is pretty tasteful. If we get a straighter section, I'll do it. Uh, oh, like this. Let's go spin around here. That honestly is not bad. And you may have also noticed that I turned on the headlights uh, because it is surprisingly getting a little bit darker. Uh, I guess I kind of forgot, to be honest, that the Frosty mod also does affect the time in game and makes it more winter realistic when it comes to shading and stuff like that. Uh, and the time of day of when certain, uh, when the skyboxes will start to transition and stuff. So that's kind of neat because uh, I guess it's what, what time is it? I can't see a clock here on this. Uh, truck is there is there a clock somewhere I can't tell let's just bring up the handy dandy uh, in-game menu it looks like oh it's almost six o'clock in game uh, so no wonder why it's starting to get a little bit darker uh, this truck can't decide what gears I mean it is an 18 speed so I don't I, uh, I I don't blame it oh do I have the oh that's why I was trying to figure out why is it doing that and then I uh, I forgot about the button when it comes to the toggle of the J brake. Uh, you can actually do it where then when you let off, it will automatically do it. I forgot about that. Uh, occasionally, I hit. I accidentally hit that whenever I'm trying to just push the brake uh, J brake button because I obviously for those who don't know, I have a, a Logitech G29 uh, wheel and shifter setup and stuff like that. Uh, coarsely of actually a few of my wonderful supporters, which is absolutely amazing, and thank you very much. But for those who know the GT29 wheel, there is a basically little red knob twister in the bottom right hand kind of section of the wheel uh, with a button in the center. Uh, so I actually have the button programmed for just to press and hold Jake brake. And then the knob itself is adjustable like up and down of the strengths. And I, I guess in a way uh, it's reaction to the just the environment. And well, I say environment whenever I let off on the brake, it will automatically do it if it just kind of has like an automatic um, braking feature, I guess you could say. I occasionally will hit that little red section when I go to hit it because my, I just kind of like fat finger the, the, the side of the button 
and it will uh, it will just sometimes well have a little bit of a fit and then I get confused and then I have a moment of clarity and then I turn it off <laughs> that was basically my thought process if anyone was wondering or if you really cared which I don't know if you did but you got it anyways you're welcome uh, but it looks like we're getting close to our delivery uh, section here I I'm gonna be honest I try and make these commentaries a little bit more interesting to be honest I just kind of be myself uh, my my normal kind of commentary in this I've realized is I try and I, I become more sarcastic I guess you could say I also try and make sure that I'm I'm try, I'm let's try and make this clear as I'm about to try and talk about my clear speaking which well I guess you can see how well that's coming along I'm really working hard at trying to be more clear I guess you could say when it comes to speaking and cleaning up some of those extra I guess you could say filler words or spacer stuff just trying to clean it up because it makes it easier to well listen to and the little stutters and stuff I don't have a stutter I guess you could say um, not trying to shame anything on people who do that that's that's the way it is and uh, everyone should be appreciated to who they are but I just sometimes will my brain will try and keep going and my mouse will try and follow but it doesn't follow properly and uh, sometimes different syllables and stuff will just kind of get dragged on or manipulated and stuff like that so I'm trying my best and that's really a, a part where I really want to grow over 2022 is in my commentary and how clean I speak I know definitely when I started it was like garbage garbage is probably the best way to uh probably the best way to describe that one but i am working very hard and i want to continue to work hard over 2022 to try and tighten that up a little bit so then moving forward it's even more natural which honestly is probably one of the biggest hurdles for me to overcome is just making that basically cleaning up my speaking in real life because i'm not actually just doing it in videos i'm trying my best uh, in, in normal everyday interactions with people uh, whether it's virtual or in person to try and clean up my speaking it just it'll, it'll, it's a benefit no matter what and I'd highly recommend uh, if you feel like you're a little bit uh, if you're a little self-conscious about how you speak um, don't try and uh, don't try and hide it or uh, you, everyone speaks the way they are and if and you should be confident in whatever you do and I'm not saying that uh, but I sometimes get irked on how I talk. Sometimes it actually annoys me, so I can imagine it could possibly get on the nerves of other, other people. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I am, in long story short, I am just trying to clean that up for you guys and for myself in a way as well. Uh, but are we actually turning or is this just part of the road? It looks like the road is just curving here. The guy isn't indicating. No, it's not. Uh, you guys can probably see that better if you have an IPS monitor. Again, I don't, I'm not going to go into that whole, I guess you could say story time extra bit. Um, but that's fine with me. It's actually quite, it's another nighttime drive. Um, I forgot that whenever you do a, a special transport or heavy haul, whatever you want to call it, uh, the time progresses as it loads up and they refuel and all that stuff. Uh, and it does it naturally in game. Uh, so I forgot that it progressed me from like 9 a.m. to 1 o'clock in the afternoon. But that's okay. I'm not going to complain. Another little night journey. The majority of this journey, at least, was during the day. Uh, but overall, I'm really loving this mod. I know I got onto some other topics. Uh, but this mod, I I'm really just. Uh, I I'm really appreciating. Uh, the, the attention to detail in, in what is here. Let you guys listen to that and not my yabber jabber a little bit on the downshifts and the engine braking. Uh, but let's pull in here and figure out where I need to park this big rig so we can say goodbye for this episode. Well, I guess you could say, I don't want to say goodbye, but you know, just maybe a see you later. That's probably the good way to put it. Uh, I love the lights though, with the uh, cop cars and stuff, the reflections keep on going a little bit. Where the, ah, there we go, she took it there, so I'll take that, put the uh, parking brake in, put it neutral, and I'm not gonna actually sh gonna shut off the truck, uh, I'm not gonna shut it off, because, well, I want you guys to be able to see whatever you can actually see, which is 
minimal anyways. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, another great episode. Lovely truck if we could actually see it. And, well, it is just nice to be doing another mod review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other mods, whether it's truck, trailer, environment, engine, doesn't matter. Let me know down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your recommendations, both for ATS and ATS2. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.